Let's begin. Hello, Miss Smith. I'm Tom Kelly. Thanks so much for coming in. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for meeting with me. Of course. Did you have any trouble finding the office? Small talk. Most interviews will start out with a handshake and some small talk. This may include questions about how you're doing, your travel to the interview, the weather, how your weekend went, and more. All you need to do is be polite and friendly. Keep your answers short. You can also feel free to turn the question back to the interviewer. For instance, if the interviewer asks you how your weekend was, you might respond, it was great. We celebrated my mom's birthday. How was your weekend? Small talk is used to build a more comfortable environment before the interview begins. It may seem silly, but you can practice small talk on your own by asking yourself simple, easy to answer, non-personal questions. You could also practice with a friend. Here's an example of small talk. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. And you? How are you doing? I'm doing really well. It's such a nice day out there. It is. It was perfect weather all weekend. It was. Did you do anything interesting over the weekend? Yes, I went to the park with my family for a picnic. That sounds nice. It was. And you? I worked this weekend, but I got a lot done, so that was good. It does feel good to get work done. You can see we haven't said much of importance, but the conversation is friendly and open and can make two people feel more comfortable in each other's presence. Hello, Miss Smith. I'm Tom Kelly. Thanks so much for coming in. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for meeting with me. Of course. Did you have any trouble finding the office? Nope. The directions on the website were great. Good. Would you like some water or coffee before we begin? I'm okay. Thank you. All right. So, to get started, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Common question. Tell me a little bit about yourself. It's very common for interviewers to simply ask you to tell them about yourself. That can feel overwhelming. But don't worry. What they really want you to focus on is your education and work history. You can also let them know what areas you have a lot of experience in or what your interests are when answering this question. Here are a few different ways to begin your answer. I studied at Harvard University and graduated in 2012 with a degree in business. I've been working at Smith Incorporated for 10 years as a manager. I have 12 years of experience in graphic design. Because of my time at Verizon, I have a lot of experience in providing customer service. If you're preparing for an interview, practice talking about yourself and your work history. Record yourself with a video camera if possible. Make sure it's not too long, maybe around a minute. Go back and listen or watch and write down phrases that worked well to use again. If there was anything you stumbled over or left out, write down some possible phrases you could have used. The next day, do the same exercise. It's important that you don't just write a paragraph and memorize it, but simply practice free talking with some key phrases. The more you practice before the interview, the more comfortable you'll feel answering the questions during the interview. So, to get started, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. I studied at the University of Florida and graduated in 2010 with a master's degree in toy design. After graduation, I was hired at Happy Kids Creative. I've been there for the past five years and am currently the director of toy production. During that time, sales have grown steadily. It's been a great experience, but I've run out of room to grow with HKC and I'm looking for new opportunities. I have a lot of experience leading teams in the creative process and finding new markets for the products that we create. That's great.